Hei sånn, det her er Thomas og Natalie fra Massive Destiny, og velkommen til vår Halloween-spesial. I dag skal vi ta en titt på ti klassiske skrekkfilmer som egner seg til Halloween. Det er en liste laget av watchmojo.com som jeg anbefaler alle som er glad i topp 10-lista å sjekke ut. Og så skal vi avslutte med nummer 5 av Habik sin Love Challenge. Det første vi skal kikke på det er 10 klassiske filmer som egner seg på Halloween. The horror, the horror! Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 horror movies of all time. This is part of a series of videos spanning the decades of horror cinema from the 1920s to the 2000s. Yeah, you're gonna love this one! It's a scream, baby! Number 10. Friday the 13th. Det er min favorittfilmserie innen skrekk. Den har jeg på sammen med oss gjennom årene. Bare noe med nå. Sean S. Cunningham kreatet noe helt unstoppelig. What started off as a revenge thriller about a killer stalking sex-crazed teens at Camp Crystal Lake turned into one of the most iconic masked faces in horror. And which also spawned... Lite tips fra meg, fra meg, når det gjelder filmen 13. Start med nummer 4, og så gå tilbake til den første filmen, og se den første trilogien, og så gå til nummer 5, og så se den videre opp igjen. Mitt tips. Number 9. Rosemary's Baby. We have to make a baby. Having already given us the shocking and disturbing repulsion and the horror comedy The Fearless Vampire Killers earlier in the 1960s. No one expected Roman Polanski to top it all off with his greatest masterpiece in 1968. What have you done to it? I think it's the one that should have been shot. One of the most atmospheric and poetically haunting horror films of all time. Rosemary's baby plays on a mother's paranoia during her pregnancy. The Oscar-winning film follows Mia Farrow with these probing questions. Can I trust my neighbors? Is my husband out to get me? Will I give birth to a demon child? Questions every mother has asked herself, right? What have you done to him, you maniac? Satan is his father, not guy. Number eight, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Den er veldig god over meg. Come on, Franklin! It's gonna be a fun trip! The early 70s were a time of cinematic experimentation. And more of the records were doing their best to push the limits of what they could show on screen. Professor turned rogue filmmaker Toby Hooper had no studio telling him what to do. Just a camera, a couple of friends, and the hot Texan sun. Sally, I hear something. Stop! Stop! What they created is one of the most unrelenting and visceral projects whose story of a family of cannibals who attack an unsuspecting group of teens was inspired by the killings of a real-life murderer. What is that? Jim Marion Eckelerne. I'm good at the old. Jim Marion Hansen. Nightmare-inducing, gritty, and way too realistic. This one should only be seen on an empty stomach. Det er en av de skrekkseriene vi har sått og kikket gjennom seg, og sånt ting du har sosset deg med. Det er det. Det er det. Det kan diskuteres. Men det er veldig bra. Så har du jo drømmefilmen da, filmen der. A demonic child killer and a king of one-liners who's able to enter your dreams and use creative ways to end your life. Number three. Something as innocent as a nap can mean death for the kids of Elm Street. Try as they might to stay awake. Ready's coming for you. Twelve. 
12 years later, he would help rejuvenate the horror genre. What's your favorite scare? Yeah, what's your favorite scare? I don't know. Yeah. You have to have a favorite. What comes to mind? Men här är ju också väldigt bra. Jag måste välja fram inte så där. Night of the Living Dead. They're coming for you. Det är inte ut det. Jag tror det var min första mainstream solidaritet. Och så var det den första skräckfilmen som hade en svart maj i huvudrollen. Så det var en del av det som lärde på väldigt många måter. Commentary and an original storyline that we've now heard hundreds of times. This sci-fi horror film sees the reanimated dead begin to roam the earth, looking to eat the flesh of the living. The main story revolves around a group of poor unfortunate souls that gets trapped in a small farmhouse and is soon surrounded by the undead. Lock up tight. That a ghoul can be killed by a shot in the head or a heavy blow to the skull. Number five, Dracula. Mm -hmm. One of the most iconic big screen portrayals of one of the most iconic villains of all time makes the top five of our horror movies of all time list. Nosferatu was taking over the world, and Universal Studios decided to adapt the play that already had Bela Lugosi in the lead. Children of the night. While the studio also released the equally iconic Frankenstein film that same year, there's no ignoring the fact that there have been hundreds of Draculas that have graced our screens in the last 100 years, and people today will still do a Bela Lugosi impression when pretending to be the king of vampires. Your will is strong, Van Helsing. Although Christopher Lee's reimagining, starting with 1958's yeah. horror of Dracula, yeah. is a close second, Lugosi's eerie gaze and hypnotizing voice will never be forgotten. Indeed. Number four, Halloween. Här är en filmserie du är nöt att bli med på. Massa killers. And they needed faceless monsters that could be used to kill them. Enter John Carpenter's stroke of genius, Halloween. Also, even Michael Jackson's in for a bit spectacular. What later became the prototype for every slasher film since, and is today considered a dark masterpiece, started out as an idea for a cheapo film about a psychotic murderer stalking babysitters. But in the brilliant hands of Carpenter and Deborah Hill, where we follow Michael Myers returning to Michael Haddonfield Myers, to finish yeah, up his bro. murder spree, you get some, one uh, of the most profitable uh, interviews uh, ever made. Uh, 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 Number three, mm. The Shining. Wendy. Kunskapen så tål. Det är en av de två stora klassiska skräckfilmer jag inte lika. Jag har aldrig klarat att se dem på en gång och tänka att det här var en väldigt bra film. Men så lika. Ja. Det är många som gör det. Men det är en klassisk novell in what was hailed as a masterpiece. Ja, det är min serie. Jag tänker att jag har lite lyst til å prøve å se igjen, men jeg har ikke prøvd noen gang tidligere, men jeg er klar til å ikke komme inn i det. Jack Nicholson's descent into insanity boils ever so slowly below the surface, that people can only stare in stunned terror and pray it never happens to them. Here's Johnny! Number two, The Exorcist. Det var mer en komedie i dag enn en skrekkfilm. Ja, når man kan ha en gang. Ja, altså, det må liksom se hvor gammel filmene er også. De har hatt ditt i middelen de har hatt i dag den gangen, altså... 
an exercise of an effect that some of the shares are truly much better out eigentlig for the hair yeah passing out also the effect on some yeah it was the other you would because I they can talk about some I like being I get a kid who now has a demon inside her how long are you planning to stay in Reagan until she rots and lies stinking in the earth Get ready to never sleep again. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before we dig into our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. I can go slow ahead. Come on down and chump some of this shit. I love you, Mom. Hmm. Dad. Yeah. I was young, my name was Jerog. Ja, till det handlar om att folk tar så länge. Groovy. Åh, så bra den här. Mm. Enerna. Enerna är väldigt bra. Jag har ja. tappat så väldigt för det. Men uh, alltså, jag såg jävla väldigt filmen och det är en grej i historien. Ja. Mm. ja. Number one, Psycho. Mm. This is a prime example like. of an established director taking on disturbing macabre material mm. and turning it mm. into gold. Uh, mm. uh, that is one follow-up to the uh, like and North by Northwest. I mean, uh, the music is the best that I have made in film. Mm. Also, vision of uh, unrelenting terror, uh, which pops like full-on horror mm. for this twisted tale of mommy issues, brutality, abusive insanity, and sexual violence. And yet, it was all done with such style and grace. We're all in our private traps. Checking into Norman Bates Motel would be the most painful thing to hear about. But it's a must watch for you. But the story of Norman Bates is going to be four films. While he'd also give us the terrifying and suspenseful words three years later, there's no denying the impact and influence of this psychological horror on the horror and slasher genres that they don't know. Also, it's a very, very good series. Selv om handlingen foregår på vår tid. Jeg hadde lyst til å se den på den listen. Ja. Hadde vært en spesiell Halloween-liste, så hadde nok den kommet med. Be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com. Der ja. Nei, jeg var godt fornøyd med den listen der. Ja, veldig bra. Den, det var mye gode filmer der, flere jeg har lyst til å se igjen. Jeg fikk lyst til det, tror jeg at jeg sa den der. Så det, ja. Så det var da topp 10 skrekkfilmer gjennom historien. Mye bra der. Da er turen kommet til Adik, nummer 5. Skal du klare det, Dag? Jeg tror du får til. Du ser ikke ut som meg sånn, for det er så mye. Zombie face. Cirka det som skjer hvis du klipper bort alt jeg sier og bytter ut det med Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
Zap back here. One shot, one shot. How black people shower. Same as white people, stupid. You get the body wash, then you grab a chicken leg. You know, I've been very ill. I was practically buried. And now I'm feeling better. I'm feeling well now. And it's thanks to you. You tell me what you want and it's yours. I'll give you anything, even the moon, anything your little heart desires. Imagine, I was afraid I was turning into a homosexual. What have you got against faggot, racist? Yo, two things I love is Justin Bieber and your ass, nigga. What's up with you? Yo, you may think I'm gay, but I ain't gay, nigga. There's a big difference between op being optimistic and being gay, nigga. There's opportunities for being gay, but I ain't really gay. Because I ain't really gay, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna suck that dick. <laughs> Are you bisexual? Is that what you're telling us? That's gay, nigga. I don't deal with that. Well, what exactly are you? I'm, I guess I'm open-minded, if, if, if I can be real with you. Like, I ain't gay, but I will suck a nigga's dick. Yeah, you're gay. But look, if you say that, if you keep talking to me like that, dog, I promise you'll get your dick sucked, dog. I'm gonna put it in a bowl of salad, <laughs> toss it around, and suck that dick. Look, he can call me gay all he wants, but you know he gonna get his ass beat, then his toes sucked. Den här på backen istället där. Mm. Nej. Stor Det där är ej där ja. Nej. Nej. Nu är du. Is that Michael? You guessed it. You was right. antepasados son judíos. ¿Ah, sí? Pues mira lo que tengo. ¡Ay, Hitler! ¡Ah! I refuse to go along with this, and I'm seeing through all of your lies, Barack Obama, you wicked, wicked devil! Det er grunnen til at aldri skjer med deg, så det. Hva med å lure? Jeg danser hver dag. This is a travel mug, but it's almost like a magic trick. Because let me show you, you can't knock it over, but yet you can pick it straight up. How is that possible? I Try it. It's, it's the magic of... Well, you can put you in the hard. Train. Come no, on. You know what? You're right, though. Okay, you gotta pick up the But otherwise, they lift right up. They lift right up. Right. Mighty mug. Nigga, do you know who you fucking with? Ice Cube is the lick. West Side is the lick. Can't get enough of this gangsta shit. Mm. Cover all 9,000 taste buds. Aerate it, warm it up, get, grab it up, get, get that top milk, that cream, 
pure vanilla. Yep, yep, yep. Sweeteners. Mm, that's a ten. Ok, det var den helvete skatta. <laughs> har ikke vært for den, så hadde vi kunnet komme gjennom den der, eller flyet du tar. Nei, det, nei, det Mer, var en katta, og så var den nesten på begynnelsen. Ja. Det var litt mer grin enn flyring. Ja, nei, men da klarte vi ikke denne gangen heller, så bedre å lykke neste gang til oss. Så vi ses neste gang. Til addikt nummer 6. Det her var da vår Halloween-spesial. Vi bor jo i Norge, vi har ikke lange tradisjoner for å feire Halloween her. Det er noe som har kommet nå senere på årene. Det har vel så smått vært innom når vi var liten nå, men jeg vil si siste fem årene har det skutt veldig verre med Halloween-feiring her i Norge. Så jeg håper alle sammen har kosset seg med denne episoden her av Thomas og Natalie fra Massive Destiny. Og nå vet jeg hva alle sammen tenker. Dere har lyst til å se et heftig kyss mellom meg og Natalie. Vil dere ikke det? Takk for å ha en trivelig Halloween-feiring. Trivelig er kanskje ikke rett ordet, men dere får kost dere. Så ses vi neste gang. Så fra Thomas og Natalie. Happy Halloween!